I'm, I'm getting everything out for y'all today that's supposed to be out. Um, but remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We about to get into Kings of Napa episode four and five. Baby, before I get into the review, let me get into the looks, okay? I am loving all of the bright colors popping on all these shades of melanin, okay? I'm loving the black art and the backgrounds. Baby. Miss Byros, I don't even know if I'm saying your name right, baby. Cast me, season two. I look good in nice colors, pinks, yellows, oranges, greens. Cast me, baby, then come on over to the YouTube channel with us and do a little interview for us, you know what I'm saying? Let us um pick your mind and see how you got to be so genius and what made you think of this show? Cause baby, I'm obsessed. I don't know if I need wine watching this show, um, an oxygen tank or what? Because I stay clutching my pearls, okay? Baby Dana, Baby, Patty, Betty, Bitter, Betty, Dana is serving lines after lines after lines. I'm loving it. I am, I'm here for it. They trying to play on my girl, Bridget. Y'all, it's, baby, excellent. Excellent. If you not watching Kings of Napa on, on you, baby, you're cheating yourself. And I want you to treat yourself and watch it on Tuesday nights, okay? So let's get into episode four, y'all. You know, we still reeling off of baby Dana being upset with the wife because she chose August wine over his, the mama, and the um, Aunt Yvette spilling the abortion. Oh, I'm not, oh, Lord, abortion. Lord, Yvette, abortion. Uh-uh. The abortion news or whatever, but you know, um, that Dana walked in on. So we still really from that. So him and Amel, right, is sitting up there talking, right? Because, you know, Amel feels some type of way, baby. She done always been jealous of the sister. Apparently, she was not the fan fave in the household, okay? And neither is Dana. In his opinion, he feel like he's the firstborn. But August has always had ha things handed to her repeatedly. And he's not respected, basically, is how he feel. So, he running that down to a male. A male telling him, you know, she loves him, yada, 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 all of that. The family loves him. His parents love him. It really wasn't like that when it came to his mom. And the abortion, like she was trying to explain what it was, um, you know, that his mom was feeling, I'm guessing, you know, to, I guess, I guess be on her sister's side, but kind of swing Dana towards her side. Because let's be real, ain't Mel ain't got nobody on her side, but ain't Yvette and baby, ain't Yvette trying to backslide back um, into the house because she tried to sleep in on, tired of sleeping on Bridget Couch, okay? So, child, but she tells Dana, so, well, before I get into what she tells Dana and what they talk about, I am wondering, hey, Mel, do you really love your nephew and you really wanted to encourage him or are you trying to um, still do some slick stuff and get up under your sister's skin? I have questions, hey, Mel. You come on over to the YouTube, too, because we want to know, hey, Mel, why you even slept with your sister, man, from the beginning? Mr. Freaka, baby, you playing that part because I can't stand you. I love your acting job that you're doing, but I can't stand you for sleeping with your sisterhood, girl. Then you don't seem a bit more remorseful. Every week, you spilling out more tea that you knew about the husband. Ma'am, ma'am, every week you spilling out more tea, and every week you is letting this lady know that you was her husband, lover, confidant, and best friend, and not her because you know everything she don't know. Go ahead and give it to her at one time, okay? So the sting can be done stung and it can wear off. But anyway, I digress. So Amel tells Dana that she know how they can get the world to see him and respect him and all of that, right? So she sets up um, a magazine interview with him called Asset Makers, right? And they're going to come to the house and interview Dana for being one of the top, um, I think it's 20... CFOs, right, under 40. Okay, cool. All right, Dana, we see you. Gonna be on a little magazine. Baby, Dana come to the house. He really feeling himself selling them asset magazine shows him. And he needs to make them to make like a tender dating ghost. All of them. 
Nathane, I know you mad at your mama, but what you're not going to do is walk up into that lady house slash vineyard that you and your wife poor laying and laying in that y'all ain't paid not a penny for. Y'all don't pay to rent your room or none of that and tell that lady she got to leave her house. But all right, Dana, I feel you. You, you, you feeling yourself, all right? You, you, baby, listen. Dana is definitely letting his nuts hang on all of them, okay? Oh, he ain't taking nothing from none of them, right? He lets them know Amel done did that or whatever, baby. And um, child, the mama is flustered. She, she like... Uh, this is she trying to mail and only doing this to cause a problem between me and my son, okay? And Zayna is baby tickled down to his soul that he's getting up under his mama's skin, which is what he wanted to do, hence the abortion and feeling unwanted, right? So, baby, the people come, they doing. They doing the arrangement, you know, they taking photos or whatever. And the mom's like, oh, Dana, you need to wear this jacket. And he's like, no, I don't want to wear that jacket or whatever. And then Aunt Mel said, you should wear this jacket. It look like this. And baby, so he takes the jacket, Aunt Mel said. Then they say, get a picture with your family. He said, no, I'll do a picture with my Aunt Mel. I'm like, Dana, wasn't you the one saying that mom can't have Bridget back because... You know, she was going to lose it and all of this. And now you're doing this. Y'all, Dana, Dana is petty. Okay. He is petty. Okay. So then, baby, at some point, I don't remember what it was, baby. But Dana decided to show his whole entire Okay, he gave his whole family his to kiss. Okay, baby, he called his mama a housewife. Okay, that she ain't well, she wasn't but a housewife. And then he played, he played on everybody in the family side, everybody. And guess what, y'all? All of this, including the part um about the extortion, because now Bridget then came in and busted that when Aunt T was telling her, and Vanessa was telling her about leave her house, don't come to her house no more, she should not be there on their property. And she was trying to warn them about uh, the other vineyard or whatever, right? And they being extorted too, which Aunt Vanessa really felt some type of way that they didn't tell her about that or whatever. But baby, why they good doing all of this, baby? The camera is still on. Okay, so all of this is being recorded for the Asset Magazine. Be able to lady come back and say, thank you, we have enough footage. They like, oh, no, give, give us that. Run me that tape. And she was like, this is process, uh, pro, uh, not process, goddamn. What she said? This is basically, that's Asset Magazine property. That tape, and y'all ain't getting it. And she left. Baby, Vanessa... Shut it down. Okay, she knew who she called whoever she knew within them higher places and was like, run me that feet. Kill it. Kill that story with my family business. Cut it short, right? So then a lady come prancing her little stuff up there. You had them kill the story. You know what I'm saying? You can't do this. You you one percenters. Da 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 da. And so baby, she like, we didn't make all of this money not to be able to do so. I say, Well, you better let her know. You better let her know. Okay, baby, we ain't make all this. We ain't make all this money not to be able to shut down like these people do when they need to. Come on, yes, I was hip, I, baby. As mean as ain't Vanessa been, and in some cases, like with her sister, she deserved it. Bridget don't deserve it, but with Mel, she deserved it. Um, I don't even feel like Yvette deserve all that smoke because at the end of the day, you a sister in law, in law. Like I said in the last video, um. So if I'm a lawyer, so anybody's gonna be to my brother. I'm gonna keep his secrets. Um, but she kept yours too. But anyway, but um, baby, I was here for I was here for a Vanessa. I was like, come on, you better know, you better let her know. Touch that anything down now on one out there. Y'all, it was the power. It was the power and the way she delivered that baby. Babe, I was like, yes. I had to rewind, y'all, because I wanted to hear her say it again. The little ratchet part of me wanted her to say. But, you know, we're going to keep it classy. Because this is a classy show, and I like that we they, you know, I mean, it's messy. It's messy, right? But it's not ratchet, child. 
this on the level with the young and the restless with all of this drama and the secrets and all of that, baby. So they let the auntie know the wine club is here or whatever, right? For the sip and paint. And I'm like, y'all got too much going on. Like, I need them to have a um <laughs> Yeah, I'm still I should have did this video last week before sipping paint took on a whole new meaning. Give me. But anyway, and I'm thinking to myself, like, y'all do all of this at, at y'all vineyard, which is cool, but y'all home is also there. Baby, I don't give a girl, I wouldn't care about the latest auxiliary Usher boy number two, um, Deacon boy number three, um, Mother of the Church anniversary. Um, we got to get us somewhere else to do this because I don't want all of these people in, in my house or that close to my home facility because, baby, I might want to walk around comfortable and they might have been and forgot their phone, their bag. I be then took off my wig, my makeup, um, and I got to let you in the retrieve whatever the hell you done left. But anyway, so they there. Mel, Mel, you just don't give a damn, okay, about what this lady got going on. Like, okay, you was already on the property because y'all talking about the extortion of which you knew about that too before anybody else in the family knew about it. Once again, the husband confidant in secrets, okay? So, but you telling her, listen, this is serious. I was jealous of you, but that's not what I was doing with Dana. You know, you really want to love him. You really want to be a part of everything, yada, 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 right? But she said, listen, your husband was scared. He was preparing. Baby, some passport. She was like, you're lying. You're lying. She was like, did you check his cigar boxes? She was like, what are you humidifying in your moral eyes? She was like, just go check Vanessa. This is serious. Y'all in danger. Girl, so baby, she go check her in August in the daddy office, baby. They looking through, she looking through the cigar boxes. And baby, it's passports with different names and money all for them to get away. Okay? And I'm like... I know you don't want to talk to your sister right now, Vanessa, but you might want to tell her, listen, at this point, my family is in danger, and you seem to know why my husband got these fake-ass passports running around here with my face and a whole nother name that ain't me for me to get away, so I'm going to need you to not give me bits and pieces. I'm going to need you to run this whole story down to me right now so I know what I'm up against and so I can protect me and my children. But y'all know it's TV, so we can't. It can't go like that. But that's how I wanted to go because sometimes the plot just be so good. I be like, I can't wait. I need it now. I need it now. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me in its entirety, right? So then, baby, we got all of that going on. Uh, of course, like I say, Bridget comes and tells them that the uh, other people, Phil and Phil, I think that's their names, y'all. Let me go through my notes, okay. Feel and feel, um, they stuff, they being blackmailed too. Somebody um, actually ends up poisoning their vines. We find out that Otis works for both of them. And I'm like, no, school, no, not school. Why y'all do school like that? Why? Why, 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 why? So, child, they do all of that. They find out they, they vines and stuff was poisoned. All right, and they, they make all this the thing. But um August, she just don't she she don't believe it was oh it's Sean and Sean, y'all. What did I say? Feel and feel. It's Sean and Sean. August, she just don't believe, right, that it's Otis. But you know, all signs are pointing to Otis. All right. So then um Christian finally gets Bridget to give him some advice um on how to take care of the vines and things like that, right? Um, and that's how that happened. Otis comes, baby, and the police is there, baby. Otis take off running, okay? Otis take off running, and they crash. I'm like, not in they crash, um, and baby, but he in a coma or something, so he in the hospital, and he ain't woke up yet. So, but they think they got it. Christian goes back looking for something for his notes because he's lost his notes and it's time to 
pick, pick the grapes or whatever. He's lost his nose as Bridget gave, but Bridget ends up leaving her backpack. And we find out that Bridget has the little triathlon. What, what is, I don't remember the name, y'all. Let me make sure, see if I wrote that down in my notes. Um, Um, well, anyway, she had some of the little stuff that supposedly poisoned the vines in her bag or whatever, right? So he think it's Bridget that might have been doing them. And I'm like, I know y'all not about to play with me and play with Bridget like that. Don't do her. Don't do her. Y'all done already kicked the girl out her job. Y'all done took her mama money. Y'all used her as a bargaining chip, said y'all was going to keep her. Y'all done kicked her out her job, told her she can't come. Y'all been the only people she ever knew because her mama been way wherever the hell she was. Then she was being, she found out that the uncle was really uncle daddy. Child, don't, don't set Bridget up like that. I was appalled. I'm still, well, I ain't still appalled because I done seen episode five, which we about to get into next, right? But I was appalled at the time. Like, how dare you? How dare y'all do this to Bridget? She done been through enough. You know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, I feel like y'all done kicked out her job. Y'all done basically made her like she not family. And all y'all was so close. If she did poison them vines, I don't give a damn. I hope she took some grapes and started on wine. That's what I was hoping. You know, if it's her, I hope she on some I, get back. I don't know. Um, a few things I didn't mention. Um, hey, Mel, when it was doing the little photo shoot, baby, she had to stop. And she was patting and she was out of breath. And I'm like, hey, Mel, I know you ain't pregnant. What's going on? What's going on, hey, Mel? We don't need you to be sick because we need you um, to finish giving us the clues to what the hell Reggie was in. Because you about the only one on the cast that know, okay? So we need a male to be okay. Um... Christian, Christian and his little woman, Christian, you was all sad talking about um your, your woman left you and this, that, and the third. Um, leave her gone because she seemed like she was trying to do too much talking about I'm going to come with you and tell. Baby, you're not part of the kings, the napa, the grapes, the soil. You was out of your lane, ma'am. You was out of your lane. Then you want to run out talking about, oh, because he living off his family money. Well, baby, you were so happy to be laid up and screwing in the vines and whatever else y'all was doing. Open them people house up on them people money. So shut up. You trying to make a place for yourself where there isn't one. Because you're not even the first girl that we done seen Christian with. Because we done seen them with another one um, in his bed prior to you. You know what I'm saying? You just the flavor of the week. Enjoy the wine. Enjoy the grapes. Enjoy the eggplant and whatever else you may be getting. Um, and keep that moving. But I hope a male are right. Like she can't die. Um, also, we found out that the daddy, uh, the daddy was the one who sabotaged the son because he wanted them to work at the vineyard. And then we find out um, August is looking for a new CFO, right? So, baby, let's get into episode five, honey, baby. Uh, Lloyd, and I just was saying this lady name, child. August is dreaming. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I hope y'all didn't hear that. August is dreaming and she thinks that the uh, extortionist is in the house with her. And at first when it came on and I saw that, y'all, I was like, see, you should have followed them instructions when he told you come by yourself. But then we find out she's dreaming it, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, then they talk about the vines. August goes and talk to Aunt Vanessa and tell her, listen, I love Christian, but... We need Bridget. We need Bridget for these vines. We need Bridget to do this. This is what Bridget does. Uh, Vanessa's like, you know what? I'm thinking about it. Bridget's really in her element when she's in the vines. She loves it. This is what she does. And I love Christian, but she can, you know, help him grow. Because Christian ain't that, y'all. Christian is the playboy type. I feel like, listen, daddy done left money for Christian for him to do his bourbon. Let him go do his bourbon. Give if y'all gonna leave Bridget gone, it seemed like oh, this is the next best thing. Um, let school do it. But shit, school done child, school gone. School 
I just don't believe it. School in the coma, y'all. He ain't wake up yet. So we got to see. So they go. They talk to Bridget. They get Bridget to give her job back. Bridget like, hell no. Get now. Because now y'all need me. Because Christian done messed it up. Da, 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 da. And they're like, no, we really want you to come back and mentor Christian. We realize, you know, we need you. Yada, yada, yada. You know, and not only will you be back with your job, you'll be back in the family. Child, they had done fired her from the family and the job. But, you, you know, I would have told them kiss my ass. But we know Bridget wants to be where she's at. So go ahead, Bridget, do your thing, right? So Bridget's telling yes. The next thing you know, we see Rose and Zayna. Y'all, can I just say, Rose, whoever, Lord, that is a beautiful lady. That lady is beautiful. And I love the accent, okay? Baby, Rose done set up everything. Zayna like, baby, she trying to feed him. And Dana said, I ain't no damn fool. I got a mama and a sister. You up to something. What you want? What do you want? And baby, she like, um, well, you know, we've been trying and we haven't been able to do anything, you know. And don't you want to have a little Dana? Let's go to the facility and this, that, and the third. And we can, you know, basically get a turkey based though. Turkey based, turkey based our way to a baby since it's not happening naturally, right? And so Dana's like, mm, I don't know. You want me to just jack off? She was like, Psh. it's the same thing you was doing every day while we was mad at each other. Except for this time, you're putting it in a little tiny test tube. I was like, well, she ain't lied, Dana. You got them rocks off that way. Get these rocks off so your wife can have a baby with you. Because obviously she want to have a baby with you. Get that lady her baby. All right? So he agrees and we see them hug. But he kind of have a look of worry on his face. And I'm like, Dana. Maybe the, the horses ain't marching. The swimmers ain't swimming. I don't know. But we're going to figure it out. We're going to see what's going on, right? So then they do that. We see Bridget. No, when Christian hears, right? Because the, the, the eccentric looking wine lady. I can't think of what her name is. I done told y'all on several videos. Um, I'm bad with names. But she, her and August was talking and she was saying about Bridget coming back and that's when Christian was like you hired Bridget back you gave Bridget back her job she was like yeah why what's wrong you know to August and August is like saying you know what's the problem and so that's when Christian tells August about what he found evidence to clear Otis yada 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 right so baby she goes and tell Inspector Gadget Lafrette brother you know y'all know him the one who inspected you know and doing it like this is the this is what we found or whatever, go ahead and um, check up out Bridget, right? And so Bridget is in New York with Aunt Vanessa, and they're enjoying it. They're having a good time, and Bridget is sharing like she don't understand how her mother can be the way she is. And then we're talking about where they wanted to go, and Aunt Vanessa was like, nope, I ain't going to take you there. I'm going to take you somewhere else. So I was like, whoo, child, where they going? Where they going? Baby, they show up at the nursing home and they come roll this old lady out, child. And so when the mama see Vanessa, she like, baby, I thought I told you you wasn't going to get nobody to marry you with them thighs. And then she takes a look at Bridget and thinks it's Aunt Mel and proceeds to go off, okay? She was like, you not welcomed in my house? All of this your fault? You should have been the one that died and raised her hand to smack her. Bridget looking like, what, baby? Bridget over there on them people's sofa like, where the hell did you bring me? Who was that? And even us was like, that's your grandmother. Bridget like, not the grandmother y'all told us don't want to be a grandmother. Not the grandmother y'all told us they never wanted to meet us. Not the grandmother. Why she want to know this about my mama? Like, why is she doing all of this? Baby A Mel lets her know that the mama and um the mama and her daddy, which was Bridget Grandpa, had done got into it because they can't control A Mel. A Mel was a wild child and they got into it. The daddy ended up having a heart attack and died, right? So the mama apparently blames Aunt Mel. And that's probably why A Mel a little messed up. But she seemed like she been wild, okay? Um I guess. 
but so then that's it but then I, vanessa let's bridge it no like if you want your job and you want to be back in the family you have to leave your mom alone this is what she does and she's toxic and i'm like yeah i understand bridget is upset with her mama right now right but that's not a choice you should give somebody like choose between their job and their mama like if that's how you felt about it, you should have you should have told Bridget that when y'all was standing at her house in her driveway before she got on this trip, before she quit working for Sean and Sean. You know what I'm saying? Because now she might not be able to go back if she choose her mama. You know what I'm saying? I do want to give the girl her job back to do the greats or whatever, or you want to let her go. All right. Meanwhile, back on the vineyard, right? August and Christian talking and they talking with respect they get he like it's time to put these um in bridget house because all the calls for the past three years every single one has that for the blackmail calls has bounced off of the tire towers by bridget house and i'm like we really going there we really going there like we really gonna make bridget be the extortionist i know y'all not playing with me I know, I know y'all not playing with me, playing with my girl Bridget like that. You know what I'm saying? So she like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But ultimately, baby, they give him permission to go put them cameras up in that girl house. So child, August gets to sitting and thinking about a conversation her and Bridget had when Bridget was painting her picture and they was talking about if somebody did something and Bridget was like, if somebody did something like that to me, hmm. And she was like, Bridget, you wouldn't. And Bridget was like, you don't know that side of me. Don't do nothing to make me show you that side of me. I see. King of Napa writers. Why y'all playing with me? Y'all really want me Y'all really want to make Bridget like she this wrong person. Like y'all really about to turn us against Bridget after she done lost everything. But anyway, I digress. And going on there, we see Bridget and Vanessa come back. They, you know, August planet. Cool. They like, hey, let it be what it is. You know what I'm saying? We find out that he done so Christian done spilled the beans to Dana when it's supposed to be just them. But Dana like, let it be close. He was like, listen, I don't want Bridget to go to jail. But if it's her, then she should definitely go down. You know what I'm saying? August done had a whole panic attack and everything else. And I'm like, we see Otis wake up. Y'all, I know I'm probably all out of order. Um, we see Otis wake up, baby. They go to the hospital. And talk to Otis. And she's like, Otis, why would you do this after all my dad did? Why would you extort him? And Otis was like, I asked your dad to help me, but he didn't want to help me. And I was like, I know Otis ain't admitting to the extortion. Then she like, my dad did help you, Otis. He did help you. And I'm like, school, what is you talking about? And school was like, listen. She was like, why would you extort him? He was like, I didn't extort him. I was still in the grapes. I asked your daddy to help me make my own wine, but he didn't, child. So, um... I was helping myself to the grapes. I tend the fields every day. Hell. So then in that case, she was like, wait, what? What? And he was like, yeah. She was like, well, why did you run? He said, I'm a black man. She said, yeah, but you're a black man that could have been killed. And I was like, ooh, I understand it from like, y'all, the conviction in my heart is like, it's sad that a black man shouldn't have to feel like because the police is coming. Um, they gotta run because I might be killed. But then at the same time, if you run, you still might be killed, right? It's kind of like a, it's a no-win situation, but I'm glad that they did touch on it, however briefly. They did touch on it to, to, to you know, let people know, hey, this is the mind state of what black men go through and how they feel these days in regards to the police. So, I love that. So, we know that Otis ain't guilty. Otis just stealing grape food because he's tired of working for y'all. He won't create his own wine. Okay, so cool. Now that leaves even more to Bridget. Bridget is back. They asking her how the wine went, how, how the convention went in New York with her and Aunt Vanessa. And she's talking to him, this, then the third. Then next thing you know, she was like, well, I need to go to the grapes or whatever. They was like, no, not yet. And so then she was like, um, she's she's leaving to go get settled back at home or whatever. It's like, go get settled. Go get settled. And she gets a phone call and she was like, yeah, I quit, but I don't need them anymore. 
um, part of my plan. Um, I, I got this under control. And I said, Bridget, I've been rooting for you. I felt like Tyra. We were rooting for you. We were rooting for you, Bridget. And now you have a secret phone call talking about you got this under control and you don't went to Sean and Sean and quit. But that was part of your plan anyway to get back over here to the vineyard. Girl, did you say it? Girl, Bridget. Child. Baby, August trying to talk to Bridget. Bridget like, nah, I won't kick it with you basically. And then turn around and ask Rose, Rose, would you like to go out dancing or whatever they, you know, would you like to go out? Rose was like, sure. I'm like... Slapping your face, August, baby. Um, August, I don't know why you thought it was going to be that easy. I don't know why you thought because y'all decided to let her come back on the property and tend them grapes and them vines that she was just going to be here for y'all. Like, ultimately, she only did that um, because that's where she wanted to be or whatever the hell her plot is because now I'm, I don't know what's going on with Bridget. Um, but y'all only asked her back because y'all needed her. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, you get what you get, I guess. Um, as far as that's concerned, baby. So we see Bridget. No, 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 no. August is in her house, baby. She on the phone. She done found the little wire, um, the little, what they call them, the little listening devices that Dana done had the man install in her house or whatever, baby. So August done approached the man on the street like, you checking up on me? Like, did you think I was extorting my dad? And he was like, no. But you ain't the only one with dollars that's paying me. So basically, he go where the money goes. So now she done figured out it's Dana. Baby, she done stormed up in that office. And she telling Dana, like, what the hell? You had your sister, you had your sister watch. That's nasty. That's creepy. And Dana like, well, that's the same thing you doing to Bridget. Baby, Dana and the one-liners, okay, have been, it's been giving everything that it's supposed to give. And she's like, you thought I was extorting daddy? And he was like, no, I thought you were weak and you couldn't handle it. And you couldn't handle working with somebody like me. And she, you know what I'm saying? Basically, I was right. And so then, child, let me tell you. He said, and I know you were looking for another CFO. She was like, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I was looking for another CFO. Not to replace you, but to promote you. Because I was going to have you be co-president with me so we can run the company together and get all of this petty foolishness. Besides, he was like, I don't believe you. And she was like, I even had Phil or whatever the man's name was, Paul or somebody, to draw up the papers. And I'm like, she's like, but you know what? I'm over it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. And she she leaves. And I'm like, baby, well, Zayna, um... I don't know. Now she might take them resumes to fire you. I would. Don't have nobody put no cameras in my house. Like, I know you feel like this position should have came to you, but don't be doing all that. Like, at the end of the day, outside of this company, if we if we, if it succeed or if we fail, we still brother and sister. And you bitter with me and you mad with me because daddy overlooked you. Because you felt like you should have got some. But mind you, August was the one who convinced the daddy to buy that land. While Dana was away at school. She was the one who convinced the daddy to buy that land to, 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 to do the vineyard. So, like I said, baby, Dana is petty, baby. He holds, baby, he holds a grudge like none other. Oh, let me back up. Ain't even at the house, baby. It's this man. They've been trying to get him to be a distributor forever. They can't do it. Um... I, 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 Vanessa tells her she ain't gonna be able to get the man, baby. Not only did Aunt Yvette get the man to be the distributor, she also got her son. Baby, that man was like, whatever. Baby, I, I, Aunt Yvette was around there pouring that wine and talking about her, her and her girlfriends was dancing. And baby, he was like, I saw what you did. You went from selling wigs at the church parking lot out the trunk of your car to being number one. And I'm like, well, why is she working for the vineyard? You know what I'm saying? Like, where's the weed? Why we ain't gonna see her um in the warehouse with her wigs? No beauty supply store with her wigs. Um, maybe that's left to come. But anyway, maybe she got the man and she got the deal. She closed both them deals, baby. That man left out that house like <laughs> whatever you want, baby. He was leaving out there, uh, Singing them, that old school baby face, I'll buy your clothes, I'll pay your rent, I'll cook your dinner too. 
soon as I get home from work, baby. And Yvette put it down, baby. And Yvette was, I'm gonna put it down, you gonna fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, you gonna fall in love. Cause baby, that's baby. Then she done pitched the man's shoes. But Vanessa had told her, if you land this deal, you can move back into the house. So baby, she back in the mansion, okay? Cause she, she closed the deal in more than one way. She got the signature and the signature. Okay, and I ain't mad at Aunt Yvette. Y'all, I love Aunt Yvette. I, I love all of these characters because they playing their part. Okay, so then we see August go to meet old boy that's the lawyer who still, well, I mean, technically they ain't in default no more. But I, hey, Mel, you paying for these dates because, baby, did you get your first payment yet? So was your 10 mil that you settled for 5 mil long as Bridget working? Did you get any of your per first payment yet? Because if you didn't, you is paying this man um, to date the person you're suing. And I think he's using them payments to woo August. But this time, baby, they at their old high school. She got some of the nice coats, baby. They out there talking and everything. And baby, August opened up that coat. She done got on her chili uniform from back in the day when they was together. Baby, they all in the stands just... Baby, then they playing on um, In Vogue from the Set It Off soundtrack. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What's it gonna be? All of that, baby. It... Baby, they was stony in the banker, okay? Except for they was in the football stadium. And I'm sitting up there like, this is hot. Baby, you all right, August? You better get you some. Everybody get them some. Baby, they listening to Hot Sizzle. Everybody get you some. Get, get you some. Everybody get you some. Cause they ain't... But then, on the other hand, I'm like, baby, you just found out your brother was having you watched and you about to show all your goodies. Baby, he about to definitely get this on the camera and say, is this how we want our CFO to ask our president to act? Girl, mm -mm. you should have been spontaneous on private property because your brother is watching you. Um, Oh, wait, Lord, y'all, I forgot. A Mel done went to the doctor. Bridget had done put her out of house. She was staying in the Bellagio. A Mel had done went to the doctor, and the doctor trying to figure out what's wrong with her tool since she had been working out of the country, you know, and all of that. She had some things, and girl, Mel was trying to call Bridget to let her know, baby, Bridget sent her the voicemail. Do not. That's how she did it, baby. She was with Aunt Vanessa and back in her glory, Okay. Um, then we see Rose and Bridget. They done came in from when out. Bridget, like, I haven't danced like that in a long time. Baby, they drinking. Bridget is drunk as a skunk and about to tell it all, baby. And she is willing to risk it all, okay, for Miss Rose. Baby, Bridget was like, can I trust you? You can leave him. Baby, they still kissing, y'all. I said, Rose said, no, no, I can't, I can't. We're going to have a baby. She like, leave him, leave him. And I'm like, leave him? Girl, Bridget, you got that Delilah spirit just like your mama. You got that Delilah spirit just like your mama, baby, because you bought the, just like your mama slept with her sister, husband. Baby, you is trying to sleep with your cousin, brother, wife. Not to mention, Bridget let us know that she knew. Y'all, oh, y'all, excuse me, I see no matter fake. Um, she knew. She knew all this time that Reggie was her daddy. And I'm like, I'm feeling sorry for you. And you know, Bridget, I feel, I feel deceived. I feel deceived, ma'am. All this time, you knew. You knew that was your damn daddy. Ridiculous, right? So baby, that's how it goes off. Well, no, that's not how it goes off. Rose says she can't do this. She have a family. Then she kiss Bridget one more time. Then she runs out the door. Meanwhile, they show us. Baby, Dana is looking at the camera in Bridget's house, so he done seen the kiss. He got it on sound, baby. What they was talking about. I mean, <laughs> Y'all, don't wait for next week, because I need to know. Because Dana is petty, baby. Is he going to shoot one-liners out there to give y'all a hint that he know? 
Um, is he gonna come straight out and click out on y'all? Is he gonna let the rest of the family know? What's the secret? What's all of these secrets Bridget's talking about? Like, Bridget, how long you been on this? You said for years you've been on, but baby, why you continue to let your mama take it to somebody else's grave? I got questions. I got questions, but I love it, y'all. If y'all ain't if y'all ain't watching Kings of Napa on Tuesdays on own, you're missing out. And that's it. That's all I got till next week. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course share. Hit that notification button as well. Bye, y'all.